video we've called her his wife instead of his fiance but uh they got married if you guys noticed we haven't done a lot of videos we've been busy they went on their honeymoon we did our our guys uh fly fishing trip which uh we don't film usually because that's just a guy's retreat to get away get away from all the stress of our normal lives and even the stress sometimes of trying to film while you're out doing all this but want to give you guys a little little one day overnight uh camping fishing trip got a new kayak and a new little john boat for tyler and we're gonna go the out try those out see how they float uh hopefully they don't sink and uh we'll of course be hanging in our hammocks and uh, cooking whatever we catch over a fire hopefully so uh we'll talk to y'all in a bit all right 402 outdoors here we go again Talked to you a little bit earlier about staying out here in the woods tonight. We're gonna have a good time. Try to do a little cat fishing. Maybe uh, catch some squirrels or, or rabbits on the, the prowl. And then maybe in the morning actually try a little bit of stock and hunt for a deer here. Uh, just a local small lake nearby. Probably, you know, 45 minutes to an hour away. Uh, so you can see we set up in the trees here, back behind. Uh, hammocks all hanging should be a pretty nice night so i don't think we're gonna put up a rain fly what that means is it'll probably rain on us <laughs> really cold um kate my daughter-in-law says she'll just run home but we'll tie her up if we have to to make sure she stays here because you know what once you come camping you gotta suffer through it unless there's like maybe a tornado earthquake or a bug out situation you know the russians are coming type of thing then we might pack up go home just so we can get more gear Get ready to disappear out into the woods a little longer but uh we'll do a little filming tonight it's not going to be some big long video or anything but hopefully you get a little bit of fun yeah you'll see us catch some fish maybe you know clean some animals and things depending on what uh comes up uh we may do some of that in separate videos uh just so we don't get demonetized assuming someday we ever get monetized uh but i want to make sure we get <laughs> get some credit for that so we're set up back here we're gonna have a good night and uh Hopefully you'll see us in a little bit, cooking some dinner. All right, guys and girls. Well, it's a maiden voyage. I picked up a uh, Old Town 120 topwater kayak and uh, took it out on a small lake here that we're gonna camp on for the night. I'm gonna try a little fishing out of it. This is a fishing kayak and uh, I'm gonna try my skill set out. I'm still learning a bit, so don't make fun of me when I uh, screw up in my rowing or, you know, do something silly that, like, every kayaker knows that. Well, this is my first time. I've done a bit of canoeing in the years, and uh seems similar. I like the, the double-edged paddle, other than it does drip on me a bit. I may try to go a little bit longer than the next one. But I see some nice tree area and some real calm water. There's a little breeze on the lake here. Not much, but enough it's moving you around a bit. I want to try this calm water out and see if we can sneak up on a big bass just sitting back in here. Some nice trees in it. This lake I've never been out on. I fished a little tiny bit from shore, catfishing one night. Casted a couple bluegill one day, first time we found it. And uh, 
since then you know I haven't come out here and tried anything but I heard there's some decent bass and some crappie and even a little bit of walleye here and there so let's set this back in the fold behind me here there we go I try to get into this mossy bit a little bit here meanwhile 45 minutes and zero fish later Where did I see those minnows? Where, oh, where could they be? There they are. It's the very front. My, oh, my, oh, me. Find me for a minute. I can get a good row going because if I don't do it soon, I ain't going to make it back. Fish on. Nothing huge, but fish on. There we go. A white crappie. Stop trying to spike me, sir. Thank you. It's easier for me to get that out if you quit. There you go. See you, buddy. Well, first fish in the boat was not a super impressive fish, but you know what? He was a fish. I caught him out of my new boat. It's broke in now. I feel pretty good about it. Especially if you're fishing crappie and bass during spawn. Find somebody standing trees in the water and pretty much just peg your soft baits off it. Let it drop right down there and see who wants to eat not always the easiest but sometimes you're gonna get snagged there we go a little better fish maybe and now he doesn't seem like it but he's swimming towards me too oh yeah yeah much better fish how about that guy nice sunfish thank you sir yeah, i'm gonna try to mouth you Some fish don't always like it, but got that hook in there good. Yeah, I feel those bottom ones. That's why I don't like to grab around you guys. You guys like to wiggle too much. All I'm trying to do is let you go. How about that? Yeah, I found me a fish. How about that? Oh, 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 you got a little run to you. You should do. All right, coming at me. Come on. I don't know what he is. He's under me right now. Oh, oh, hello. How you doing, sir? What you doing hanging out back here? I appreciate that. This definitely is my honey hole. I caught me a crappie. I mean, a little sunfish and a decent little bass so far. Not too bad. All right, buddy, you ready? Go get it. I'll tell your big brother, Corey's over here. He's got a yummy tasting bait for you. One thing with these gulp is they will start to break down over time, and it's just good. They're they're made to break down in the water if they get lost. But sometimes it's best to to rehook them a bit in a different spot because they will pick up. Oh, I think I got a fish on. Yep. There's another guy. Another sunny. Yep. Oh, I, this is fish four over here. Yeah. How many have you caught? Four now. Four. Bass, crappie, and two 
sunnies. Yeah, come over here. Just had another hit. But now I'm throwing uh, gulp minnow. Okay. On uh, just a little jig head, so it's kind of bouncing it. Get your bait out there. Boat's doing great. Is it? Good. Boat's doing great, and like... Yep. Doesn't bother me one bit. Nice. I can spin around in it. <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah. That looks like it floats real well. Oh. Did you have a bite? Oh, yeah. Told you. I don't know if it's just the time or what. I've switched a couple baits and kept coming back into here because I really like this area. Okay. And uh, all of a sudden, man, I just started getting... still really well. Me? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I'm not out there. I definitely... Once I do get into the current, I go, you know. Not in that light toss, but we'll see. What's also really funny is like if there's no current, I can actually move really well with the paddle. Oh, I believe that. The one cove we were in. Fish on. There you go. He's running at me. Oh. <sighs> She's sitting here holding her pole in the water. <laughs> My bait's working, and all of a sudden a fish tries to rip it out of her hand. Yep. It's literally like three inches long. It's no joke. I just, that was funny. This cove actually does look really good. Yeah, it does. It's, like I said, it's been consistent now. No, give that back. Yes, thank you. He's trying. He's trying to spit it back out for me. There you go, buddy. <laughs> he took my <laughs> gulp. I had to take it off the hook in his mouth. <laughs> but I got it back. That's the way I was with that bass. Ooh, oh, that's a nice bass. Is it? You bringing that with you? No. You need mine? No, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he sounds a little grumpy. I think he's just mad that I've caught so many fish. <laughs> How many have you caught? Four. I'm at five now. Oh, six. Nope, sorry. Hi, buddy. We'll see you. Oh, I might be on. Yeah, little guy, but I'm on. Uh oh. I just come over to check out your boat. It's a party boat. That's what I'm saying. I just thought somebody should come check it out over here. Show it off a little on camera. Heck yeah. How are you liking it? I love it. Yeah? Perfect. Get to do a little fishing, a little hunting out of it. <laughs> it can't be as bad as the the first fishing trip in the the big boat down to Greer's Ferry, where you brought like a body in a bag. I mean, like it's an 18 foot boat, and there was no space in the bottom yeah. section to stand because all the stuff he had in there. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's gotten better at it. Well, that's why I said I think I'm gonna set up a smaller tackle box just for fishing off the kayak yeah. that I can swap in some smaller boxes with stuff um, I'm seeing if you got fish behind you okay. I'm facing this way it sounded smart uh, 
and do it when you're standing. Fishy on! Bluegill. Ten! Eleven. Hopefully. No. Uh, I mean, I don't know. They swim out at me every time. Huh? He's he's a hog for a sunfish. Oh, there's a nice fish. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that. There you go. Little guy. Nine, ten inches. I feel better. I think that's fish 11, but just in case I miscounted, I'm for sure at double digits. All right, so goal here is mm -hmm. a couple Y sticks, and then you can run sticks across with your stakes on Ooh, it. Oh, yeah. So almost like a rotisserie. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna use this one. Uh -huh. uh, I'll just cut it off and put it in. I wanna see how tough this top part is. Oh, that's awful weak. Might work, but I'm worried I'm gonna pound on it and break it. True. But we'll find out. Although this one might be good enough right here. Well, that's really weak. It's well, brittle. It's actually not on the one side, believe it or not. I just can't afford to take too much off. Make it pointy. Yep. Yeah, so doesn't even have to be a beautiful point, but just a little bit of a point to it. Mm -hmm. Allows it to go into the ground a little easier. Mm -hmm. Or stay in the ground at least. Yeah. <laughs> Anything can go in the ground right now. Hey, that goes down easy there. Let's see if we get this one down a little lower. Now you want to find a decent green stick because you want it green so it doesn't burn something pretty straight so uh i'm gonna go ahead tonight and cheat and i'm cooking a mountain house or uh you know different brand but similar uh ready to go meal you just add water uh Kate and Tyler are going to get a little more adventurous. They brought some big old steaks and uh, some potatoes. Now the potatoes are, are just add water potatoes, so those are pretty easy. Those are awesome for camping, right? You can just boil up some water. Uh, anything you can just add water to. It's good survival food, you know, uh, especially even if it's not significantly great and what you want for your caloric intake or, you know, the amount of proteins or things like that. Having food that just makes you feel at home, that it kind of reminds you of life that it is. And especially if you ever get into one of those situations where you are having to kind of truly live off the land more, um, you know, whether it be a bug out situation or a homeless situation, anything like that though, um, kind of having those, those things that bring you back to what made you happy in life really does a tremendous amount for your morale and a morale boost makes everything you do easier. Uh, whether it's, you know, collecting firewood or finding drinkable water or going out hunting, uh, that feeling good inside of you is going to make a difference for you. So 
you know, consider that as, as you prepare for things like that is what types of things are going to make me happy. Maybe it's a Snickers bar. Just remember they melt. Um, so find ways to either keep it cool or, or find some sort of chocolate type source that maybe doesn't get quite as nasty in the heat. Um, you know, for me, it's, it's little things. Uh, I don't even mind like the mountain house meals and stuff. It still gives me good, good hot food. Um, the, the hot food thing is important for me. If I have to eat cold food all the time, I don't like it. Um, even snack food, just not my thing. Uh, I'll tell anybody uh, one thing that I really want to get better at and, and learn to do, and I, I'm hoping to, to get a hold of some land that I can kind of start building some stuff on, is I'd like to make myself some sort of mud or brick oven, um, you know, out of, out of homemade materials just all off the land. Mm -hmm. and then learn to make my own bread in it whether it be flatbread or you know leavened bread whatever it doesn't matter but to be able to actually have bread that i can make something with i can roll it up i can make myself a little bit of a sandwich with any type of meat whether it's a rabbit or a squirrel or some fish or whatever you know but just to give yourself something that kind of makes you feel at home and bread is definitely one of those things go to any restaurant they give you hot bread I'm just ecstatic. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, I, I'll save dinner. I'm just going to eat the bread, right? Me at uh, Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, you know, find those things, though, that make a big difference for you. Take advantage of them. Uh, so, Tyler and Caitlin are going to try some steak and potatoes. It should be awesome tonight. Uh, we're going to try it. Well, nobody brought anything big enough to cook them on. So we're going to try the next best thing, and we're going to rotisserie style these things up and see how they turn out they'll probably be a little well done on the uh edges and when i say mm -hmm. edges i don't mean like the i laid it flat on a grill edges <laughs> but long ways i you know you cook it and then flip it and so you get those those fat strips honestly from the outside mm -hmm. edges are probably a little more well done and the middle will probably be closer to medium rare but that's awesome you get a little bit of everything then right should be good stuff all right so hopefully you guys can see but uh We've constructed our our spit here to roast these steaks up. So you have two New York strips skewered right down the middle. They'll droop a little on each side. We'll flip them over, but they're getting some flame licking on them now. Mm -hmm. You know, you can set it up a little higher or not. There's a little mouse over here we could eat. You see him? Is it right a mouse or a stick? frog? Oh it's yeah, a frog. I see him. Oh, that it? is a frog. Jump this way. Frog oh, legs. Oh, I see him. I don't know why you're looking at me. It's kind of he's weird. He's looking at you. <gasps> he's getting close to us. You're sketchy. You like the fire? You're an odd frog. It's warm. I swear he's looking at me. It's weird. He's, he's so, looking at you. Sorry for the frog distraction. You stay there, sir. We'll be good. If not, I'm cooking you. I'm telling you. Oh. Steak seasoning. I'll okay. watch him out for you. But, uh, got it going on the spit here. Just clean the stick off. A couple Y branches driven into the ground next to the fire here. And a uh, nice easy way when you don't have pots, you don't have a rack, you have nothing else. You know, a lot of people do it on a rock and rocks are great. Where we're at, there ain't a whole lot of rocks. So uh, this is just one more way to do it. And uh, we'll let you know how they come out. We'll get some good uh, imagery once we uh, get to that point. Mr. Frog, Mr. Frog. Okay, this is kind of trippy that he's looking at you. I know. So guys, here are the steaks, final product, cooking up over the fire. It's gonna be a delicious dinner for us, that's for sure. And smell it behind you here, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna go and let you guys go so I can get this in my belly. I have 402 Outdoors. Time to get some sleep, some shut eye. We were gonna go catfishing, but honestly, we ate some dinner. Tyler and Caitlin had nice steaks and some potatoes, and I had a, uh, a vegetarian enchilada scramble. Um, the vegetarian part was not necessarily what I thought it was going to be, but, you know, it wasn't bad. It actually tasted pretty good. Uh, not not as good as some of the others, you know, the chicken and potatoes that we've had before and some of the others that are really fantastic. Um, this is more one of those where, well, it's warm and it it doesn't taste bad so it's good to go in my tummy but uh probably could have done better maybe with one of their steaks that would have been good but apparently they were good enough they each ate their one pound steak 
uh, as well as uh, a full package of like family style mashed potatoes. So they must have enjoyed them. Anyways, we're going to get some sleep out here and uh, hopefully get up early in the morning, and go hit the water and uh, catch some more fish. We got to make sure we uh, skunk Tyler really well. He's uh, caught a few, you know, trying to keep up, but he's kind of, you know, falling behind a little bit. I think Caitlin might be ahead of him. And uh, we'll get out and try the kayak out some more and see how we do. Uh, hopefully the morning's even better than the, the evening here. Talk to you all tomorrow. Somewhere in here there's got to be an oxygen absorber, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Don't, Don't forget eat these. that. <laughs> Guys, do not eat. It says so. And if you remember from my very first video, one might have disappeared somewhere, probably in my belly. I'm well absorbed of oxygen. If you don't remember from our first video, go back, watch how horrible they are. It's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I'm sure we've improved. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> we haven't improved from where we were then, man. We're in trouble. I can't believe ours were those Yeah, that thing isn't real huge. I know. I says you that possible. can see maybe in the camera back behind, if you can see Tyler's hammock. Back behind it, you'll see some straps on a little thin one. It's only about an eight inch around tree. Yeah. And we hung two of us on it. And you could feel when the other person was moving. <laughs> it, it lets you know that it was there. Well, you always knew when somebody was awake because of how much they were moving. Yes. Because you'd be moving too. Oh, you weren't supposed to fall out of there. I just stacked you in. I'm <laughs> making a mess here. <laughs> And one little stick's getting caught on everything. We're making a mess out of it. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly where I wanted it. That was so funny. That bug was going on you. <laughs> you were like trying to pour. Oh, uh, it said uh, for thicker gravy, I was only supposed to use one and a half cups. Did he pour some out? Not now. Or is it too mixed? It's all mixed together already. That's sad. <laughs> Read the full directions when you do things like this. <laughs> I better. Did I screw mine up a little? Like, it's not that it probably won't taste good, yeah. but I like thick gravy, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's way runnier. I bet if you let it sit longer, it might thicken up a little bit. It might. That's just sad. <laughs> it's just. That's my first time with the biscuits and gravy. Everybody else has had it. I've bought it and the other people have eaten it. I just haven't eaten it yet. It's super good. It's not normally a biscuits and gravy type of girl. Really? No. I, I even love like biscuits and gravy. I'll eat it for lunch, dinner. <laughs> it don't matter. I'm more of like a breakfast scramble. I like eggs. Mm -hmm. You're wrong. Yesterday, that's all I had for breakfast was just three eggs. I just did, yeah, I didn't even do the whole fancy thing, which honestly is better. I like the taste better, and people will say there's no taste difference. There is. Uh -huh. Like when you truly scramble them up, whip a bunch of air in them, yes. you know. Yes. And so usually Before I do Before you that put way. it in the yes. pan. But yeah. yesterday I was just lazy. I just cracked them in the pan and just scrambled just in the scram pan, you know. Yeah. Another fabulous teardown day. And a pillow is stronger than me. <laughs>just wanted to catch everybody up i know we cut the last video a little short we were supposed to do a little more fishing that day unfortunately tyler still wasn't feeling real great and so we had to cut it off a little bit early but uh we'll be back out again in a couple weeks and uh look forward to having everybody with us